Hey, 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 everyone. I'm Rosie with K15T, and welcome back to our Confluence Beginner Guide, where we're teaching you Confluence from start to finish. Last time, we learned all about the interface, how exactly to navigate it, and about spaces within Confluence. So you may be asking yourself, what do we have on the menu for today? Well, our goal today is to help you understand the editor and content creation within your site. After watching this video, you should not only feel confident in making pages and blogs, but also in using the editor to format them. So with that being said, let's get into it. So if you're anything like me when I first started Confluence, I wondered what the heck is a page? So a page is a live document where knowledge can be stored and edited. You can use them to create project plans, meeting notes, instructions, or basically whatever your heart desires. So let's get back into our Confluence site to take a closer look. Alrighty, so here we are in our Spaces home, and to create a page, we can either hit this big Create button right here at the top, or we can go over to the Content tree on the left and hit the Plus button. Alternatively, what you could do is just hit C on your keyboard, and that will do the keyboard shortcut for creating a page. But right now, we'll just go ahead and click this little Plus button right here and click Page. As you can see, we're then automatically just taken to a blank page with a generic title. I'll just go ahead and replace this title, and what should we name this? Let's get started, shall we? Perfect, so now you have your title. What you can also do is add a header image to your page, so you can browse from thousands of different images. So I could just say, started. And these images are really endless, you could have so many. I'm just gonna go ahead and click this one reposition it, hit apply. You can always update this. This isn't set in stone or anything. You can also add a little emoji to your page. I'll go ahead and just add this little celebratory one right here because we're getting started in Confluence. How exciting is that, is it not? Uh, this is the page that we're working on over here. You can already see where it's living in the content tree. You can see it still has the generic title when it's just in this display, but if you scroll over it, it shows, okay, this is the let's get started page that we're on right now. So here at the top of the page, you have your toolbar. And from left to right, you have your undo and redo buttons. You have your text formatting options right here with all the keyboard shortcuts listed right next to them. You have your completely normal, basic, bold and italic buttons, and then also some more formatting options here like underline, strike through, code, etc. Then you have your center and align buttons your text color, your highlight color, you have all the options that you're probably used to seeing in Word or Google Docs. Then of course you have your bullet list, your numbered list, your little indent tab. Here on the right side of the toolbar, you have the opportunity to add some assets that would add to your page, such as an action item, a link, some media. You could also do an app mention or an emoji. Here you also have the layouts button, which I will demonstrate in a second. You could also add a table or a chart, and then you also have your insert elements menu, which we will dive all into in the next video. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see these little arrows right here. And so that lets us adjust the width of the page. So do we want our page to be full size? Let's go ahead and get rid of this content tree. You can just expand it and collapse it just like that. So we can have our page either be really wide or we can have it be a fixed width, which is a bit smaller. I'm gonna say, let's go ahead and make our page the smaller width, just because then when you open the content tree over here, you're still able to see everything really clearly and neatly. Then at the bottom, you have this little question mark right here. This is just your little help button. And this will also just tell you where your keyboard shortcuts are, your editing updates, all that good stuff. And then as you can see at the bottom, there's this little box and that's not actually part of your page. This is just a little suggestion box that Confluence is helping you out with. So it shows the all templates right here. And these are some templates that you can start with. So they'll give, can give you a little preview if you just hover over them and then also suggest some elements, which like I said, we will dive into in the next video. So for right now, why not just start with a template? We'll go ahead and click this one for a how-to article. No reason why, I don't wanna necessarily do a how-to article, but I would love to just demonstrate what this template would look like as we're editing a page. And what's nice is Confluence already fills this out and tells you, hey, you know, put your little intro right here, which we can do, so let's say, this page is for an introduction into Confluence. 
So that's my little intro section, if you will. And below that, I want to go ahead and put in the layouts, which I mentioned earlier, which is just from up here. You'll click that little layouts button. And then here you have a few different options of how you want to format your layouts. I usually just go for whatever works best. If I have an image and an image takes up a bit more space, then I could do a text on one side and the large image on the other. But for right now, we'll just do this half half. We'll add some text in here. And then to go ahead, I'm just gonna make that a heading too. And then we'll go ahead and add some bullets. Sign up. Make your site name. We're just making a little bullet list as an example. Then over here, we can also change this as we're editing. But let's say, oh, I'd like to add in some media. So then it'll just take you to your little media entry, you can add something in there. You also, of course, have your bold options. You can do a little strike through, just like this. And then if we wanna undo, we always have our little undo button right here, or I just love to hit Command Z because it just makes it so easy. Look at that. Now we've just undone the last few steps that we've did, and if you need to redo, just hit the redo button and it will bring it all back. I can also just go ahead and add an image. So I'll go to this little box over here and I just have it copied and pasted. So I'll just go ahead and paste that bad boy in there. You can also add a caption. Let's just say blue egg sample. Beautiful. Since we're in the live editor, the page will publish automatically and Confluence will also save your page edits every five seconds. So you really don't need to worry about manually saving it. It's all online anyways, and you are all safe to go. Nothing is set in stone. You don't need to be worried about if it is published. Oh no, I can't change it. You can always change it. That's the flexibility of Confluence. So for now, we've just created our first page. You can see it over here displayed in the content tree, no longer with its generic name. You may be wondering, we've just created a page, but what about creating a blog? The main difference between blogs and pages is that blogs are not shown inside the page hierarchy, and instead, they're only available in the blog section of the space. Let me go ahead and show you. So over here, we have the little blog section of the space. On the left in the sidebar, we'll click on that. And as you can see, we don't have any blogs in this space yet. So we can go ahead and add one. Blogs should be used for content that's relevant for a certain time span, such as announcements, like we mentioned in the last video. A good example of a blog post would be an introductory article that welcomes your team members to Confluence. So let's go ahead and say that. Welcome, team. Then down here, you can put all your content, and once it's published, it will go ahead and live in this blog section over here. So we'll go ahead and publish it. Even though it's just the title, it'll still get published. And then Welcome Team was successfully published, and then when you go over to your blogs list, there it is. Pretty simple, right? Well, we've now learned how to create both pages and blogs in Confluence. Plus, we've become familiar with the editor. But to be honest with you, we haven't even scratched the surface, and there are so many more possibilities for your pages than what we've even touched on today. So in our next tutorial, we're going to get familiar with elements and macros to make your pages shine even brighter. Go ahead and hit those like and subscribe buttons so we can keep helping you and you can focus on what you do best. Thanks for watching.